Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? Let me put some music in here. It's your boy Maurice Till, Mo Tezu, Maurice Green, and um, I'm on my way to help my boy out get him out of a little jam real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? My boy got uh, pinched, probably for a DUI or something like that. So I'm gonna go and uh, pick him up. The irony of the situation is I actually uh, I drank a margarita for breakfast, uh, and I'm going to get him <laughs> for being <laughs> for being arrested for a DUI, possibly. But anyway, um, I was gonna talk about man. Oh, this like weird phenomena. Like I've been seeing on the internet lately, man. Like on social media. It's like shaming tactics, man. It seems like this, like this, like strange, like weird agenda. And let me break it down. Like, I'm a comedian. You know, I talk a lot of junk on Facebook and stuff. Like, I say a lot of crazy things about, you know, I, I, I really get into as far as like what I do in my personal life, sexually, what have you. And like a lot of people, they can't handle it. Oh, if I like stud lesbians, or whatever, whatever, you know. Who knows? Whatever. And they'll, oh, this dude gay, this dude gay. So people like steal my pictures. They'll make memes and call me homosexual and stuff like that. Like people I don't know. Like my homeboys, if we want to play the dozens, roast each other and stuff like that. And I got no problem with that at all. You know, you my peoples. I know you, blah, blah, blah. But when it comes to people that have like profiles and pictures where they, they don't even show their face. Or it's people I've never even actually like saw and met in real life. But like we all have mutual friends. You know, and this person is trying to like disrespect me and be negative, you know what I mean? And and, and and curious about my sexuality. My thing is, I don't deal with drama or nonsense on Facebook. So as soon as I see something that's drama, I don't deal with it. I just like, your only defense on Facebook is to ignore them. The best way to ignore somebody is to block them. I block them. I block you. You know, I don't got nothing to do with you, period. I block you out of sight, out of mind. I don't, I don't want to deal with it. But these weirdos on the internet, when you block them, they still want to get your attention. Like, that's just not enough. Like, they don't understand the concept of no means no. Now I know how some of these women feel when they keep getting harassed and stalked when dudes don't want nothing to do with them. Like, no means no. So they'll, they'll, they'll be, like, hitting up mutual friends of mine telling me, yo, yo, tell them to unblock them. Tell them to unblock me. Tell them to unblock me so we can talk. And it was like, they calling me gay, but they're begging me to unblock them just so they can see my beautiful face again but I'm the gay one uh okay and it's crazy because like in some of these groups and stuff like that cats be like yo yo you need to stop blocking these dudes man that's that's weak that's a weak moves you need to stop blocking these dudes so, you know that makes you look like a weaker man so these people are actually shaming me for not wanting to deal with individuals, male individuals that are stalking me, stealing my pictures, creating stupid ass memes, trying to say I'm gay and all this shit, just because I say, you know, I got my preference with like, style, you know, style lesbians or whatever, or I might say a silly joke that is kind of like homoerotic or what have you, but it's a freaking joke. Every famous comedian in the world that made super homoerotic jokes, man. That's just how it goes down. But even, but even besides that, yo, okay, I make a joke or I do what have you, so that means I gotta get stalked. I mean, that means my pictures gotta be taken by people that don't know me, like constantly harassed, constantly tagging my name. I'm blocking. I don't got nothing to do with that. And people actually shame me because I don't want to be harassed. I don't want to be harassed, so I get shamed. That's a bad thing. But the iron, the, the, the ironic, the ironic thing about this is that people. <laughs> will shame you for not wanting to deal with dudes when they, you know what I mean, when they harass you, whatever. But at the same token, this is like this whole no thirst movement. So like if a chick, you know, she put up a nice picture showing her butt or whatever, or you see a beautiful female or whatever that you want to holler at, people will shame you for trying to talk to the woman too. You get shamed for being attracted to a woman. Like, let, 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 like break this down. People will shame you for being attracted to a woman and trying to talk to a woman, but then they will shame you for not wanting to talk to a dude and not wanting to deal with dumbass internet dudes. You get shamed for blocking dudes and not want to deal with dirty ass, ugly, crusty ass motherfuckers 
But then you get shamed for liking pictures and wanting to talk to women, like hollering at them in their in they inbox or what have you. What the hell is this world coming to? I keep saying it's like the homosexual agenda is real. And I'm not and I'm not trying to say like, you know, it's, there's nothing wrong with homosexuality, nothing like that. You know, if you gay, you gay. That's what you do. But we shouldn't be forced. It, it's almost like we're being forced to accept one thing and forced, like pushed away from something else. Like, I have to embrace this homosexual culture. Like, yo, you gotta let the dudes arrest, you gotta talk to them, you gotta blah blah blah. Why why the hell am I gonna go back and forth with a dude that I don't know on the internet? I just block him. And these dudes, I, I can try to ignore them, but every time I freaking log on my phone, it's like 20 updates of the same dude with the ugly face tagging me, trying to get my fucking attention, calling me gay. Like, you stalking through my pictures. You making gay memes. You understand what I'm saying? You're finding, like, gay-ass pictures on Google and then the Photoshop my face with the shit saying the gayest stuff ever, but uh, I'm gay. You follow my page... We stalking my page. You looking for me? You checking for me? You asking questions about me? You talking to dudes about me? You telling dudes for me to unblock them? And you trying to like shame me because I don't want to look at a fucking dude? And I'm gay? Get the fuck out of here, man! That's some bullshit. Straight up. Listen, I don't got no problems playing the dozens, like I said, with people that I know, making jokes and stuff like that. But when it comes to people that don't know me, man. You know what I mean? And I, I put I, I put myself out there. I put I put things out there about myself. I'll make fun of myself when I have you. But I don't put my jokes out there for y'all to fucking run with the shit and go crazy. You don't even know me, like acting like you know me, all this crazy shit. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to see your ugly ass face in my updates. I don't want to see your, up, your ugly ass face in my notifications. And the crazy thing is half of these homosexual dudes, closet, yo, these dudes is so closeted. These motherfuckers, like, these almost, these, these, these closet, and no disrespect to the real homosexuals that, like, own they shit, no pun intended, no disrespect to them, but these cats, you know what I mean, that's stalking me and stuff like that and trying to make fun of me, they so far in the closet, man, you would think they own a condominium in Narnia, and they best friends was Mr. Tumnus. If you watch that movie, Mr. Tumnus was gay as hell, but I'm gay. You, you stalking, you, what kind of dude... <laughs> goes to that that claim he's straight what kind of man goes to like another man's photo album and looks through all his photos you could be looking at big booty chicks you could be doing anything you do you literally taking like hours looking through because i got a lot of photos man you know i'm very vain you could literally be looking for women you're looking through my albums trying to feel like yo which which photo was the gayest which one is the most suspect you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna expose this Nigga, you want you just trying you want you trying to expose me so you can have a fucking date. Nigga, go to the polo club, whatever gay club it is, and just come out the closet. Not interested, not down. Half y'all motherfuckers is hideous. Yeah, I will judge a dude because some of y'all motherfuckers are so ugly. When I look up, I, I you know I see a notification. That shit made me shot. I almost broke my phone like four or five times. Look at that y'all ugly ass dude stalking me. Y'all niggas is hideous, man. Shave your face, get the body correct, get a haircut, take a shower. Get some shit for the bumps in your face so you can be more halfway attractive and halfway decent. You ugly ass bastards. They so do so. The, the, the ugliest motherfuckers be the most homophobic, man. These niggas are so ugly. Even if you was gay, nigga, you couldn't get a gay date if your asshole was the cure to AIDS, motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here, man. I'm tired of these corny ass dudes, man. Like, stalking. Listen, if somebody blocks you and don't want nothing to do with you, no means fucking no. That don't make them a weak person. That means they just don't want to deal with your dirty ass. I'm tired of seeing y'all dirty ass, ugly ass faces in my fucking news feed, tagging me and shit. Because you really want to tag tagging me as a euphemism. You really want me to tag that ass, you sweet ass bastards. I, hey, that's, that's pretty much all I had to say. I just had to vent real quick. It's just crazy how we get shamed for not wanting to deal with men stalking us, but then we get shamed because we attracted to women and try to talk to them. We get called thirsty. If y'all don't see the homosexual agenda as real, man, I don't know what y'all see. Listen, I, I done invented long enough about to pick my boy up from the pen or the, the jail holding, whatever it is. Got a comedy show coming up April 26th. New Britain, Connecticut, the Frosty Mug. If you need tickets, hit my Facebook page, Maurice Green. And uh, we're just gonna have a good time, you know what I mean? People stop hating, stop stalking dudes if they don't want to deal with you. 
No means no. You weirdos. Peace.